Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about transit south node square opposition or in conjunct one's natal south node. Now, when we're talking about transits that involve the south node, it can be about what we're going away from, what we're trying to leave behind. The past could be at the time where you may be naturally proficient or adept in, and also uh, overdeveloped and redundant qualities. Now, when you have transit south node, basically making an adverse aspect to one's natal south node. Well, I'm going to elaborate on that. When I say basically adverse aspect, okay, um, squares and oppositions, of course, those aspects are adverse and negative in astrology. Now, an inconjunct aspect is neutral, but a neutral aspect can have good and bad qualities coupled with the fact that an inconjunct can often require an adjustment or transition. And of course, those things can cause some tension and exasperation. So collectively, basically, I do see this as an adverse transit. Now, the thing is, again, when transit south node is basically making an adverse aspect to one's natal south node. Well, it may manifest in what you're going away from, the past, um, what you're trying to leave behind, what you may be naturally proficient or adept in, overdeveloped and redundant qualities. These things may conflict um, with what you are trying to leave behind. It could be something where uh, you know, issues with the, um, you know, if you're trying to leave behind you know, your natal south node placement, course is what you can be you know, could be where your you know, built-in qualities these can be qualities that might be may very well be overdeveloped and redundant qualities and these things trying to leave behind and put them in the past may be a little bit more difficult than usual keep in mind when you have this train if you have the transit of the south node making an opposition aspect to your natal south node of course the transit of the um the, the transit of the north node will conjoin your natal south node so that could be about issues you may have to address and confront in terms of your um, south node placement now um and if, say if the south natal south node is an Aquarius, it could be very you know, exceptional, non-conforming, rebellious, idiosyncratic, bizarre behavior. I'm not saying you're going to be climbing the walls or, you know, said in previous videos, put suction cups on your hands and <laughs> climbing the walls like Spider-Man or something. But you know, these are things where the the south node energy can be very. Um, you know, overdeveloped, redundant qualities. Say if the natal south node is in Virgo, it could be very, uh, you know, it could be hypochondriac tendencies, if that word still applies. Somebody that really has such a, you know, exceptional aversion to germs. You know, as an example, if the natal south node is in Aries, it could be exceptionally acrimonious, acerbic behavior, being overly pushy, being aggressive to a fault, where it might be causing, you know, issues you know, with you or, you know, with the people that you're you know, projecting this energy toward. Uh, and the thing about this is, in trying to go away from it, leaving in the past could be very um, difficult. And, you know, you're trying to, you might be trying to leave behind something in connection with the transit of the South Node, but at the same time, you, you might be you know, also attempting to put, you know, that natal South Node energy in the, um, in the past and you know this is where things could be very difficult or again it could be very difficult leaving behind your natal as far as that energy that's associated with your natal south node uh, placement trying to go away from it and could be rather difficult at the time of this transit it could be somebody you know from your past you know at this time maybe conflicting with the the, oh, the um, could be qualities you know, with the south and the natal south node placement, you know, you're actually proficient or adept. And again, going back to the, um, say, if you have the natal south node in Virgo as an example, it could be very analytical, detail-oriented ability, um, the ability to organize. And it might be things that you're dealing with that south node that's connected with what I just stated, where somebody from the past may come along and become somewhat a diversion or a distraction to it. And... Um, the thing is, but keep in mind, um, the south node can also reflect, you know, I would say, you know, negative manifestation of that sign, that placement as well. And um, 
You know, the natal south node is in Leo, say, as an example. It could be somebody constantly, you know, trying to give the impression of grandeur, or somebody that's over supercilious or showy or very, you know, expressing a lot of arrogant energy, wanting attention above them, virtually anything else. And, you know, the one good thing is maybe with this aspect of transit, I would say if somebody from this, your past is coming along, maybe they can derail you from expressing that energy. You know, it could be, you know, some, there might be something positive even in an adverse or negative aspect. And the thing about um, this is as well, um, you know, the south node is also can be connected with the comfort zone and where you feel, you know, it's complacent energy. And it could be something where, you know, the transit of the south node may reflect at the time where you feel comfortable in where you, you are maybe somewhat complacent, you know, at the time the transit south node say is in, you know, Pisces in your 11th house as an example. It could be simply, you know, loafing, relaxing, you know, with groups of people or, you know, involvement in metaphysical groups, which can include astrology. And these things might be, you know, something, you know, where you feel very comfort comfortable in right now. And, and what, and what it is, is it may be, you know, causing you know, difficulty in, you know, in terms of, you know, maybe, maybe it's hard to leave that. Maybe you're trying, you know, if you wanted to get away from that energy, it may be more, it may be more difficult. Or it can simply be that, you know, maybe someone from your past, you know, could very well be, I mean, could be uh, conflicting with it. You know, at this time, and you might even be torn between two different things where you feel you know, comfortable and and it might be like, especially let's say if you have this in an opposition, you might be feel like there's this perpetual tug of war going on uh, between the two. Now, another way this transit um, can manifest could be someone from the past, which is connected to the South Node, may adversely affect what you feel comfortable doing, what, where you're might be somewhat complacent in right now. Now, let's say if the transit south node is in the zodiac sign Cancer in the second house, as an example, it could be that a person, um, you know, that's from the past, which is the south node, could be somebody, you know, that's very, um, you know, protective. You know, as far as maybe your possessions, protection could be cancer, protective energy could be can cancer energy, and uh, possessions are the second house. Um, now, let's say um, another thing is another example, another way this transit may manifest. It could be harder to get away from, which is a south node, from those overdeveloped and redundant qualities, which is the south node. Again, the transit south node basically making an adverse aspect to your natal south node. And let's say if the, um, you know, the natal south node is in Leo in the 10th house, it could be, you know, maybe over, you know, exceptionally, you know, attention seeking and exceptional attention seeking energy, which is Leo and trying to do this more for notoriety and recognition, which is connected with the 10th house. And, um, or it could be simply trying to get a lot of attention, you know, from authority figures, supervisors, older people, the dominant parent, which is often the father, um, getting lauded and praised from those people, as an example. Now, another way uh, this transit may be expressed, it could be something that may be affecting you to your detriment, may challenge, you know, doing what you're naturally proficient in, which is, could be connected with the South Node. Um, now, let's say, for example, if the, uh, the transit of the south node is in Gemini in the 11th house, maybe it's vicariously, uh, which is Gemini living through friends, which is the 11th house, their lives, as opposed to creating your own, you know, your own destiny, your own future, what you want, but, you know, creating more of your own life, basically, as an example. Now, another thing, too, is uh, what you may feel comfortable doing, which is a south node, may challenge, you know, activities that are connected with people uh, from the past. Hold on a moment.
sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. And as far as an example, what you may feel comfortable doing, um, let's say, you know, this uh, transit of the south node is in Virgo, and the, um, you know, the eighth house could be you know, analytical, detail-oriented, you know, psychology, or um, astrology. Virgo, of course, has the penchant for details and analysis, and the eighth house is associated with the occult, which can include astrology. So, and what makes this tough, I mean, you're having, you know, energy you should be trying to get away from, making basically an adverse aspect to, you know, what your natal placement of the south node or what you're, you know, should be, you know, getting away from it. The thing is, again, um, I've stated this in previous videos, but just, you know, for the few of you that may not know, or as a reminder to reinforce and reaffirm some of this, is that, you know, the, south, the natal south node energy, you know, basically is what you're likely going to be going away from, you know, say after, you know, age 35 or 35 and older, like that second half of life, you know, and then the north node is generally what it's going to be more emphasized and accentuated at that time. But anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Larner saying stay well.